Pale 8 1, stuffed chicken wings. We're going to stuff them with pork and shiitakes, and oh, wow. we're going to do this pawpaw slaw, which is really fun. It's a little exotic, but familiar when you taste it. Pawpaw slaw. Tell me about that, Jeff. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's a little slaw. We actually use pawpaw, which you actually grows natively. In this case, we're going to use green papaya. Okay. And I've also got some green mango and also some... Um, some guava. It's a really interesting little relish we can use for a lot of different things. Good Forget thing. celery, we're gonna go with some pawpaw slaw. I like it, all right. Exactly. You know, this is really simple, but you wanna start out by making the dressing first. Okay. And the dressing consists of a little bit of fish sauce, and then a little bit of lime juice, and then a little bit of fresh garlic, and then a little bit of sriracha. I've seen that, that's the one with the- uh, The rooster. The rooster on yeah. the front. So a little sugar in there just to kind of balance it out. Give it a little whisk, and then add some chopped cilantro. And that's just a nice, light little dressing, papaya, and then this is some fresh guava that's been julienned. Wow, it's see, I mean, you've julienned this, so I wouldn't have recognized what uh, these are, but papaya. Yeah, and guava. And, and is, guava. Yeah. You know what the flavors remind me of is juicy fruit gum. It's oh. really good. <laughs> this is I think be that's an interesting her, flavor That's the secret that's ingredient. <laughs> and then mango, and then some apple. And if you guys want to just use a couple of these ingredients instead of all of them, sure. I think the secret's really in the sauce. You know, it's good stuff. When you get to with your chicken, you want to separate the, um, the drummy from the little two-prong quarter here, right? Okay, so you separate them off. And if you look right here, there's a little joint where that connects. You want to get that joint right where it connects. And if you notice, if you, if you just kind of put your hands underneath okay. and pop it, like that, you can push the bones right through. And you just kind of use your finger or your hands to push it all the way through. So this little bone will just kind of remove. And you've got this little lollipop here, which you just fold over. Oh, how nice. You just remove this section. And you can fold this meat around and make kind of like a little pocket where you put your stuffing there. Oh, very good. So now that's your area that you have to stuff this with, and, Correct. and you have a nice little handle when you're done it's eating. Perfect. Yeah, you just perfect. pop in your I mouth. love it. It's almost like chef and orthopedic surgery here. Uh, but that's, that's great. The other section we just want to French or remove or roll the knife around the, the edge, and at that point in time you can French it down and, and you when scrape you say French it. it. That's the technique, uh, like on uh, uh, lamb chops or whatever, where you take the meat down. Just removing the meat from the bone and cleaning it up. At that point in time, you can just roll that around again, too, and make another little pocket. Little pocket. Plenty of room for stuffing. Because mm -hmm. when you first talked about that, I thought, is, where is there going to be room in a chicken wing to stuff? But uh, sure enough, you made your own pocket, ready to roll. And so the next step is to make the stuffing for the chicken wings, which is really, really good. I like to use ground pork for this. And we're also going to incorporate a Kentucky ingredient, which is ALA1. Oh, you bet. Yeah, okay. so shiitake mushroom. Great local shiitakes, we can fold right into the, the ground pork. It's perfect. So a little bit of shallot, um, and we'll do a little bit of fresh garlic in there. So, you know, basic Asian ingredients, really. Uh, scallion's a good choice. And uh, I use pickled ginger, you know, instead of like a fresh ginger for this preparation. Very the, nice. the pungency just kind of comes through, and the pickling process kind of makes it a little more mellow. We'll finish up with just a touch of soy sauce. And I hope I say this right, this gochong paste. This is a Korean <laughs> chili paste. You say that I, I, I think you said it right. No one's going to correct you. I know that. So, <laughs> so a little bit of that in there. And then, uh, you know, nothing special about it. Just, just roll that stuffing around. You know, that soy sauce, that'll add uh, basically your salt. So you really, really don't need a lot of salt with this, too. You know, I haven't been adding any salt to it. It comes out good. Stuff it in there and roll it around and it sticks nicely. Those will go right into your pot. We'll stuff the other wing, and then we'll make uh, a simmering sauce. If we want to use a great Kentucky ingredient, a little AL-81. AL-81 right here. It works great because there's like some ginger kind of flavors in here, and I think it goes well with the Asian ingredients. And, I think and you're right, absolutely. And, and don't spare it too. I think, you know, half a bottle to a full bottle is going to be great. And you could add a lot more wings in this. We just did a couple for demonstration. Sure. 
We'll use some more of that pickled ginger. Pickled ginger, mm -hmm. love that. Yeah, we're gonna put that on the stove top, simmer for a good 20, 25 minutes. And keep it going, if the wings are done, you feel like they're finished, mm -hmm. take them out and keep reducing that sauce till it's glazy. So not only are we cooking in that, but it's gonna be later on our sauce. Right, right. Great, nothing gets wasted here. No, we're gonna use it all, and it's all gonna be delicious too. Yeah, see how succulent they are and juicy compared to like the fried ones? I think that's just a little better way to go for you. Oh, absolutely. You could use some of your special pawpaw slaw with all your magic ingredients in there. Stand those right up? Yeah, sure, and you just pick them right up with your fingers. Uh, nice and easy to use. Tie them together with a little, maybe some grilled scallion. Kind of keep them nice and tight oh, together. Oh, nice, very good. That sauce has gotten a little bit glazy down in there. And that's what you want to do on the, uh, on the just on the wings. Made with that AL81. This one is just a nice little chili and fig sauce. Just add some nice color. You got to try it out. Those are wings like I've never seen before. Thank you.